Today, we're gonna to talk about imposter syndrome when you're learning how to code. Are you asked, I'm following the 100 Days of Code tweets and I see many people are already far ahead on day 70 while I'm still struggling with very basic JavaScript. Imposter syndrome kicking in. So imposter syndrome is real. And I'm excited that you even recognize that you have it. And so that's the first step to overcoming it. Your learning journey is not to say, hey, how do I compare up against this person or that person or, or I'm dumber than that person. That's imposter syndrome thinking. What you need to be focused on is learn enough so you can build a professional portfolio and to show that portfolio to an employer and then get hired by that employer. And once you're hired, they'll pay you to learn everything you need to know. There are junior dev jobs out there that don't require you to know everything there is to know about everything about JavaScript or anything like that. Continue to stay focused on what you're doing. What you're doing is, is very cool. It's like you're doing the 100 days of code, you're already doing it. So you're doing it, what, 90% or 95% of the other people on the face of this planet cannot do? And so you need to keep focused on that and keep coding and keep doing it. And your end goal should be this. I need to build a portfolio that's good enough to show a potential employer and then get hired with that. So if you can stay focused on those goals, I think you're gonna be fine. Don't quit, don't give up, just keep coding.